it's Miss Hardesty here, and today I'm going to show you a few ways to how to create your rainbow fish. So you can create your rainbow fish from a paper plate. I have a small paper plate, so I'm going to need two of them. But if you have large paper plates, you can just cut out that inner circle right in here so it'll fit your background paper, okay? Because remember, we don't want too big of a circle because it will be bigger than our background. So we want the circle shape to be smaller than our background for our rainbow fish. So I also used a circle shape. If I just have good like drawing coloring paper, I can uh, trace two of these on there. Like that, remember I don't put it in the center because you won't be able to fit two. So put one on the end and then trace the other one. And I have extra room here that I can also create some special scales or and also an eye. Also, if you have googly eyes, you can use a googly eye for your eye also. So, first I want to show you, remember we do that wax resist with the crowns, how to make some scales. And so right now I was about to make a, a rainbow fish mouth. So I'm just going to do that first. So a scale shape, it's kind of like creating U's and C's. So here I can just make some fun, like if you want to make a pattern shape, I'm just kind of randomly have fun. So I can color over this with the watercolors. And I'm just randomly putting them in different areas. So I'm not really worried about a special scale right now because I'm going to make that separate and glue it on. So I'm just kind of having fun putting my colors in different places. You can create a pattern if you want. Yeah, I'll do that on the other one. This is some blue. I'm trying to get all the colors of the rainbows on here. I got some yellow. really colorful and now I can just take oops my watercolors yeah even, even our teachers have accidents to clean that ground off and I'm gonna use the lighter blue to just color over all of the paper plate And you will still see all those lines. You see, you still see all those cool lines over the paper plate. So you want to paint the whole entire plate the blue color. Or if you want, if you want it to be a light color, so you can do a light purple if you wanted to, because I painted another paint paper plate purple. And I'm going to show you another fun technique with um, if you have craft or a tempera paint that you could also use for this project to make scales. So just a fun way. And of course then I can pick another color to paint my next plate for my fins. So this would be the body of my fish. All right, so I finished painting blue. I'm going to put it to the side, and then I would start doing the one for my fins. Like again, I can use the crowns to create the lines, different things. So I'm going to show you a fun way. I already painted two paper plates. When I paint it purple, I'm going to use this one for my body, and I'm going to use this one for my fins. And I have some craft paint here, and I just flattened it out a little bit with uh, um, I used a plastic spoon to dip it in. Move it out because I want to be able to dip, but I'm not dipping a whole thing. I'm going to smash this down and I'm going to cut it in half because I only need half, but I'll be able to dip it into four colors because I have a side here and a side on the bottom. So you might get a mom to help you or dad to help you with this one. So now I'm going to make the fins. I'm just going to curl this like a C or a U. And I got two sides, so I can use this side and this side, or both of these. So I can start just take it and dip it 
And you see the paint there? And then I can just start creating some fun scales. And then I can maybe dip this one in the green. And make some green scales. Then I can take this one and make some yellow scales. Just a, another fun way that you can make scales for the rainbow fish. So again, this is temper paint I'm using. And now one more color, I'm gonna put some pink on here. Or more like magenta. But you can choose any colors you want. All right, now I'm done with my body there. I'm gonna just take these, put them to the side. Run, look at it messy. Now this one I can, if I want, I could, um, you know what, I just thought of a fun technique. Since I can straighten this out, and then I can make lines like this, kind of like on the fin part. I just kind of go around my rainbow fish. That might be kind of fun for my fins. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of green on there. You can do this with a paintbrush. And then, this just came to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. So now I can start working on a special scale while I let that dry. You, know, you want to be careful. You don't want to use too much paint because you want it to dry. So then I'm going to show you if you don't have paint and you have some markers and crayons that you could use them. So maybe I'm going to just create my scales with the markers. And another thing, if you have like a cap, you could use the cap to kind of like halfway trace the scales like this. You can create scales like that, or you, you could use actually the smaller cap too if you wanted to. This is kind of fun. Maybe I'll overlap some of these. Make some big, make some small, have some fun. Making lots of scales. Okay. Of course, you don't have to trace a scale with a cap. You can free draw it, making your C's and U's shapes. Maybe I'll make some smaller ones. Have some yellow. We'll put some yellow in here. Kinds of cool colors. Yeah. Um, what color? Orange. I have some orange scales. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to put a mouth on my other rainbow fish. So again, I'm just gonna paint a little mouth on my rainbow fish, like a V shape. So now we're going to create a mouth on this rainbow fish. Some little, two little ovals like a V shape. I'm not going to use the red. Up, mm, oh, purple. Can't forget about purple. Let's try to get all the colors. I think I got them all. So now I can uh, take 
the crowns and color over. Maybe I'll use this light blue. And then I can color the whole circle in. Remember, I'm using the side of the crayon because it covers the area. And it's okay if you go over the lines a little bit because we are going to cut the circle out. But we still want to see our trace line so we know where to cut. And you can move your paper as you're coloring. You find it hard to get into another area. Maybe I want to make my fins a, a darker color or more purple. So I can go back and make like I did on the other one. I can make some cool lines. Because we're going to use this for the fins. Maybe I'll put some purple in here. In this one. And I have some rainbow fins too. Okay, so I can go ahead, I can trace this cap having a cap or you like your glue stick cap is also a circle that you can use to trace this is just a small like soda bottle cap and I can take a black marker if I don't have a googly eye like this one I could create my own and I can color a circle in here draw a circle color it in For my eye. And I can also trace another couple of circles. Maybe I want to make those special. I want to make a special scale. So I have two rainbow fish that so I'm going to color. So I can decide what color do I want the base for my special scale. So now I got to color this one in. So maybe I'm going to see. I think I want to color like a purpley color, like a red violet. Again, I'm just using the side of the crown, this part I'm coloring with, not the tip. So maybe you have a fun colored marker that you can um, color. I think I have like a silver one. So maybe I'm going to color this silver cool color see how that's a cool silver color so maybe I'm gonna color this one my special and then do it like a turquoise color. I'm going to put some glitter glue on this one. You can actually make a special pattern on it or if you have like some really cool craft paper that you can uh, trace the circle onto and cut that out. You can also do that. So I'm going to set these to the side and I'm going to start cutting out. So I can take away this section that has my small circles on and leave it over there because it's going to be smaller. So my hands away from my rainbow fish, I mean my hands away from my scissors, but it's helping turn my paper as I'm cutting. So you want to make sure the paper's all the way at the end of your scissors and Use your other hand to turn the paper as you're cutting. You don't want to cut too fast. I'm only cutting a little bit at a time, and then I stop, and then I turn the paper. Okay, and it's okay if you make a boo-boo cutting up, because you can just grab some tape or, or glue, because we're gluing it to the background, too. 
So now I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna cut that. So I'm gonna cut that out after I finish cutting my other parts to make my tail. this paper out of my way. I'm going to cut my eye out. Same thing, even though it's smaller, I'm keeping my fingers away from the scissors and I'm actually using that hand to turn the paper as I'm cutting and I'm only doing a little bit at a time. I'm going to cut my two special fins I made. First, I'm going to get my eye glued on. Then I'm going to cut. So you, the way I'm going to cut this refins is the same way you would cut the paper plate. Okay. Make sure I get around the edge. Position where I want my eye to be. So let me. Oh, maybe I want to glue my special scale on somewhere. Maybe right here or right here, maybe right there. Remember not to turn your glue stick up too much because then the glue goes smash it all around the sides and it gets stuck and it's hard to take the cap off. So you only need a little bit of glue up to glue. So I'm gonna basically cut you can fold this in half if you want. It might be easier. Cut. Now I got a thin. I'm gonna cut, fold this in half. Now open back up because I just want to know where the center line is. Because I'm just gonna cut a triangle like that out on the folded edge. So I can see that line, so I can just go up to cut it in the center, but I'm not cutting all the way up here, so let's see that. And I can add that to the back as a fin. You know, if you want to curve anything, you just cut the edges off, more like fin, so I'm going to glue that on. I just need a little glue on the edge. Lay it on top, and the other ones I'm going to create some cool fins out of. So. I'm going to put that on the top. See, it just took that tip off right there, and it made this shape. Okay, I just cut a triangle off the very tip. I made that shape kind of cool. I'm going to put that on the top above the eyes. And then I'm going to just take this last one and I'm going to start at the tip here and just kind of make a cool kind of like a fin for the bottom. We can glue. You can try to put it here if you want. I think I like it there. right there and that's my rainbow fish I could put some glitter on this this is a I got some glitter goo maybe I'll just go a swirly around it and then it really really cool and shiny for when it dries and now I'm ready I can put my rainbow fish and glue it to my background. Oh, my background's upside down. Good thing I noticed that before I glued it. See, and then I can just glue it right on to my background. I'll 
looks pretty cool. All right, so I can do the same thing, same method for my other rainbow fish. I could glue a googly eye on it. So it's really cool to have the, they have some peel and stick ones, but this one I have to put glue on, it's not. It's not a, I gotta push this up a little bit. It's not a peel and stick googly eye. So again, I can glue my special scale on wherever I want it. I could put some, uh, where do I want? I think I'm gonna put my special scale right there. And I could put some glitter on it if I want. A little glitter glue. And I'm all set. And I can do the same method that I did. I can just cut the, the scale. And that I did on here to make the fins. I can make them the same way with the paper plate. My paper plate's still a little wet, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit for that. Okay, so many different ways that you can create a rainbow fish according to, you know, depending on what materials you have available. All right, and just have fun with it. All right, until next time, bye.